Well, there's stuff hitting the top of the water over there. I just saw a big giant fish jump out of the water. Okay, it's been a week since we were up here on this body of water. We're learning. And if you want to get to know a new body of water, you got to go exploring. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I want to go catch fish. I don't want to go explore. Okay, well, we will go check a few new spots and then go where Dana wants to go. Wait, yeah, nope, it's a fish. It, yeah, it's tugging. It's fish. Um, might want to get to that. It's something big. Oh. I think it's a big one. It's a pig roll. Yeah. It's a pig roll again. Yep, that's what I thought. He was following along, tagging at it. Pick roll do that, they'll follow it and they'll hit it, yank it, but they won't take it when they're little like this. You gotta tease them into striking. He actually took a night crawler. He came out here to this little underwater hump. Look at the size of this yellow perch. Look at the size of this one. We're trying a little new area here. And we found a little submerged. It's almost like an underwater island out here in the middle of the lake. It's about 16 feet in the middle of 30, 40 feet of water. And there's a school of perch sitting on it. They showed up on the depth finder. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Here. Nice big. Another big yellow. He took a night crawler. Another nice big yellow. He doesn't feel like he's got a lot of... Yeah, here he is. Yeah. We've been drifting back and forth out here and keep marking a big school of fish. We picked up a couple perch, but we picked up quite a few of these little bluegills. So that's telling me the depth finder is registering a big school of these little guys. So what do you think? Maybe go try another spot, Dana? Mm, sounds good to me. Okay, let's get going. This is a good one. It took a minute. We're getting ready to move to the other spot. He's taking drag. He's stripping drag. This is good fish. This is really, he's coming up. He's going to jump. Here he comes. He's going to jump. There he is. There he is. He's jumping. I don't need that for this, Dan. I can lift him. He's not a toothy critter. Yes, he isn't. Okay, well, I'm going to bring him around to you then. You. Okay. He didn't like that. He probably could now. Whoop, 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 whoop. In the net. Sometimes when you're marking a school of bluegills, there's a three or four pound largemouth down there eating them. <laughs> he was barely hooked. Look at that. Look at that. Barely hooked. But uh, you still want to move? I want to find something other than a pickerel. A decent. We came back across this drift again. Another one of those big yellow perch. There we go. Ow! Watch these guys. They got stabbies on them. I got them. I got them. Data and I were both getting a hit here at the same time, and hers got her worm, and I landed yellow perch. We're on a good pattern here. We found another spot on this lake on just our third or maybe fourth trip out here that is producing fish in good quantities. It's coming to the boat. Uh, oh, 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 it's something. Um, where's the net? It's a big white. Don't push him close to the camera. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Bunk to him. What do I got here? Oh, look who I got here. A giant white perch, mommy. Giant white perch. Giant, a giant, a giant. He's a giant. He's a giant white perch. State record just came out of here this spring. 
this white perch here is big. I'm going to tell you what. This is a big white perch. He actually hit a minnow. Look at the size of that white perch. I got him. Who do I got here? Who do I got here? Yeah, guess who? Big old crappy. <laughs> big old crappy. Nice. Good one for the stringer right there. That's a big one. That's a huge yellow. Get him in the net. He'll come off there. That's a nice yellow perch. Look at that. I got one on here too. He came over to, oh nice yellow. Nice yellow perch. We anchored right in the spot where we'd been catching them here last week. And uh, sure enough, gonna end up filling out our stringer. I got one, I got one. Oh, it's bluegill. Oh yeah. It's a nice bluegill too. Awesome. Came over here to our old spot from last week. Caught me a nice little bluegill here. Hopefully we'll fill the rest of the stringer. Another bluegill. Sorry, I got another one. <laughs> Hopefully this one didn't swallow because I want to set him free. It's a perch. Oh, he flinged my minnow. Got tired of picking up little bluegill, so I switched back to a minnow. Got me a little perch now. Look at the bass. He jumped. Oh no, 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 no. Guess it's not a bass. He's getting my other line. Guess what I just found? Look, I got a bass now. I'm just catching them like crazy over here. I couldn't catch nothing in the other spot. Oh my goodness, this is a nice yellow perch. <laughs> I didn't even know he was on there. I got me a nice yellow perch, look. <laughs> So we came back up here to this lake a week later. Might be our third, maybe our fourth trip up here, I'm not sure. But we had scouted the bottom, driving around the boat. The wind was wrong, the fish one spot we found that looked really promising. So we went over there this morning and we caught some. The only way to describe them is a huge white perch. It's a really big yellow perch, as well as several nice bass. Uh, pretty much filled the stringer. After we tried that new spot, we went back to the old spot where we caught fish last week just to give it a look and we caught more fish there. So that's going to be a reliable spot where we can catch fish consistently. It seems to be a pretty good producer. Uh, there's still a lot of water and fish up here, a lot of new places to try, so I don't think this will be the last time we get back on this lake. But hey, you can join us on some more unfamiliar water by using the links provided here. And be sure to catch everything else we have online at www.camerchairproductions.com.